Hello, my name is Lindsay. I'm going to start a tutorial series on how to make web pages using, at first, HTML, and then I'll go on to other other ways we can make it in further tutorials. And to start off, I'll use the most basic programs that everyone should have on their computers, that is Notepad, and a basic browser. Okay, so for those that are not sure what a browser is, a browser is what we use to look at the internet, such as Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, or Google Chrome. And there are others on a Mac computer, such as Safari. All right, so to make a web page, what we need to do is get a file. Okay, so I'll start off by using Notepad. I'll type in the note. I'll just use Notepad. Those have also got note also got Notepad plus plus. Notepad Notepad plus plus has more fe features that are useful for programming, and we'll most likely use that in further tutorials. Okay, so I'll start off by making a very basic page without any markup at all. Okay, hello. Okay, I'll save that file, save as. Now, for a browser to read it properly, it should be saved as .html or .htm. So I'll call this file hello.html and I'll save it on desktop. Okay, as you can see this file was made and my default browser, which is on this computer Google Chrome, has picked it up and this is what it looks like. Simply hello and the title is hello.html. Okay. Now, if I were to make a few more paragraphs, such as this is paragraph one, and this is paragraph two, and uh, okay, what we get, we're going to save it, open it up, refresh it. What I get is instead of having those lines in between, so I put it all in the one line. Okay, so that's why we have mar a markup language such as HTML because browsers they don't recognize uh, standard return lines. If you do this in Notepad, the browser will not recognize it. <coughs> it stays the same. Okay, so HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So the text that we see on a internet browser is usually, usually marked up using this HTML. And it's basically so that um, people don't use um, you know, one of many editors to to write a, write a page and then it won't be viewable on other computers. So HTML is basically a standard for writing pages on the internet so that when a browser opens up that page it is seen uh, almost the same as the way the page was meant to be seen. Okay, so designer. the most important tags, we call them, um, HTML tags to have for a very basic website is <clears throat> in this case would be just P the paragraph and another one here. Notice we have our opening tag and a closing tag to show the end of it. <clears throat> And if, uh, if I want to make this larger for a title, I use one of the heading tags. The largest built-in tag for a heading is H1, that makes it quite large. And there's H2, sorry, H, H2, H3, H4, and H5. And they get smaller 
as the number gets larger. Alright, so I'll save that and we'll see what we get. Okay, so see how it now recognizes paragraphs and the title is quite large. Alright, so did you notice that the title is HTML? If we don't want that HTML there, that's just the file name. So if we want a, a different title, what we'll do is we'll make a head section that'll allow us to put in the title of the page. Okay, to wrap around the whole page, it's best to put a HTML tag and close it at the bottom of the page. And in the top section, we'll have a head section. Close that off. And for the content, we'll have a body section. We'll close that off right down the bottom. Now in the head section, that's where we put the title. We'll call this one Hello with the capital H. can also put scripts and author of the page and many other details in this page in the uh, head section but we'll, I'll focus on the basics for today okay I'll save that and basically the only difference we'll see is that the title is now hello instead of hello.html I'll just open that again see it's hello.html if we refresh it it'll be just hello And that will do for our first lesson.